morning. Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty and you're here for Smash Up Sunday. <coughs> I have a couple things to show before we get going. I said hello to quite a few people, so thanks for joining me for Sunday night. I did get some happy mail. Where did I put that? From Denise. And since we, she must have known I was doing mermaids today. <laughs> so she sent me this cute little, sent me a card. Hi Lilith. And she sent me a mermaid ATC card. Isn't it cute? We're going to try to do mermaid tonight. So <laughs> hi Kia. Uh, but she said she used to belong to like a big swap, like 50, 60 people. So um, she said this was one of her extras, and so she um, thanked me for um, uh, doing Ustream while we were in Maryland. So um, that was my little thank you card from her with the little starfish. Cute. Thank you, Denise. Hey, Linda. <laughs> that was my happy mail. And my niece has a birthday, so they don't really keep my cards or anything, I don't think. Um, so I just made a quick, this was using the Artist Cellar um, watercolor series. So that's, let me show you that. And the ones that I won. So that's this one here. Looks like lily pads. So, my gosh, I'm drawing this frog and I'm thinking after seeing Dee Dee's turtle, like I shouldn't even be drawing animals. <laughs> but that's my little lily pad. And then, um... I just uh, used watercolor. This is like the first time I've used watercolor in, poof, I don't know, 15, 16 years. <laughs> Hi, Kaybird. Um, but um, I, what I did was I put the stencil over on top. So I put it on, um, I'm probably not going to be able to find it now, but I put it on here and then I traced it with a pencil. Better than you could do, Carrie. <laughs> um, and then I just watercolored it. And then I added, I added a little bit of colored pencils, not a lot. On the frog, I added some. And then um, just some stickles. Stickles. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> you have to leave where, oh, you're where you're going next. Oh, you don't know who Jess, so Jess uh, streamed. So is she done streaming? What was she doing, a card? Jess hasn't streamed in a long time. I missed it. Oh, she's still on? Well, that's good. So that's my little frog, and that's with the Artist Cellar um, stencil. So tonight, um, oh, let me show you. So I did, after Wednesday, I did my house in the um, in the garden. Uh, so I worked on a Halloween one, and I did, like, all day. There you are, Denise. I just showed them your ATC card you gave me. Where do they do with it now? I just put it away. With the little mermaid. Oh, my gosh. We're, I'm going to be trying to do a mermaid tonight. Oh, here it is. Thank you very much. It's really pretty. So, yeah. So, that's Denise. You see Denise from New Jersey. She gave me that. So, thank you very much. It's got bling in it. And it's got some shimmer on there. So, it's very pretty. Oh, my Halloween house is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I spent all day Friday doing it. And then by Saturday, I was like, oh, I was like pooped. I was like, what am I going to do tonight? <laughs> so... So I put some, this is just kind of flat, so I didn't want it too bulky because I still want my house to sit on there. But this is graphic 45, and I couldn't find my Halloween paper, so I had to look. And I had one bag that had like five or six different paper lines and some other things in there. So, um, so it has the magnet to close it, like that. And then it opens up like this. And then you see it has a spider. Uh, paper. This was a paper loft on here. The outside is graphic 45. Um, this one is my mind's eye and I use basic gray. I do like it. I love it, Denise. <laughs> so then I um, tied it with a little bow. It doesn't need a bow, but see how nice and cute it is? So then you untie it like this and then you pull the card out. So there's a little card to, you know, write a little something on there. And then it opens up, has magnets too. I better move my water. I've already dropped this water once today already. <laughs> I don't need to drop it again. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. So then it opens up like this. 
and this is the outside I put the pumpkins I couldn't decorate all the walls because I didn't have all my Halloween stuff out so um, then this is the roof let me move this I might have to move you out a little let me get what happened on there I my back can you guys hear me now I must have wonder what happened I think I'm back now can you hear me hi Jen hi Sherry hey AJ <laughs> can you hear me now let's see yes okay good I don't know what happened there got clicked off for a second <laughs> hi Jess oh don't worry don't worry don't feel bad you haven't streamed in a long time, so... Hi, Joycey! <laughs> good. Okay, good. So, all right. So, I have to start over again, I guess. You didn't hear me when I said it. So, when you open this up, you have to fold it so it looks like this. So, it looks like a box. And then you hold it up by the roof. And then these are the floors. So, you just want to make sure that you fold these under like that. And then these just go inside. These are the walls. Yes, I'm back. Okay. So see, so then there's the house. So you can see there. But now I also did an awning and it's going to be hard for you to see. Let's see if I can. And it just peeks out here. Let me pull it out. So can you see there? I have the awning and you can't see there's a little there's a little spider in there. He's like floating around. Can you see him? I have to hold him like that. <laughs> But then these just get tucked back under. But don't they look cool? I like them like this. So, hi, Lean. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so that's my little Halloween house. And this one also is <clears throat> um, a smaller size. It's a 5x5. Five five. See, there's a little spider there. And he hangs down in there. You just can't see him. <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to decorate all the pages. But, yeah. It's cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. So, I love the little lines. So, they just fold back when you get ready to undo it so all you do is just fold those back inside and then you just hold it up by the roof again and then you just fold everything back like that and then you flip it up oops tuck the roof under see there's the spider <laughs> isn't it cute I love it I have to make sure I save my spider inside and then it's ready to go back in its box so what I do with the box so oh my gosh I can't wait to do them for Christmas I'm going to do a whole bunch of them for Christmas I think they'll be cool Thanksgiving will be cool too so yeah I'm pretty happy with them so it took me about a day with all the decorating and stuff so not too bad those boldy things blow your mind Joyce <laughs> yeah and then it just closes right back up so then you can put it away isn't it cute <laughs> cute 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 so that's my Halloween let's see anything else I have to show you no so today we're gonna do um I couldn't find I already had a water bound journal which with the binding like we did in Maryland but I couldn't find mine so I'm just gonna have to bind this later I cut these pages already so we'll work on the middle page so this is watercolor and I'm going to hi Paula um, you will have the no, she would not like the spider. <laughs> she would not like it. So we're going to work with watercolor uh, 
and this is like i said i haven't watercolored and i only took one lesson like eons ago so <laughs> we're going to see how this turns out so i have just basic watercolor i'm going to spray those up that and then paula gave me these so i think this would be cool for the mermaid's tail so i'm going to use these for the um the tail and then I also have the set, like, I think Dee Dee has this set, um, which has a lot more colors. So, I don't know. We might go back and forth. We'll see. So, let me spray these up with water first. I got my pen, my... Yeah, you don't need chipboard. The whole house is made out of, um, cardstock. It's really easy. And then, um... Just the box is made with chipboard. Yep, it's all cardstock. And there's no measuring or anything. It's super easy. I showed it on Wednesday, so we're going to finish decorating the other house on Wednesday. So if you are interested in seeing how I did it, you can uh, watch the video from Wednesday. So let me get my spray bottle. Not that I had those, but I know people who had them. Who had what? The watercolor? Yeah, it's super easy. Really, all you need is 10 pieces of whatever you're going to use. I, I like the 5x5. Five five. After doing that, um, I really like the 5x5 five five size. It's just easier to handle than the 6x6. Six six. i got to put uh, something to hold this. So I'm just spraying the water here to get them going. No eight. No eights, nope, it's just, you need just 10 pieces. I use 10 pieces of just 5x5 five five squares. And then you just hook them all together, and it's easy. Like I said, I'm going to make a PDF kind of thing, so I'll show you how to build it and all that. So hopefully I'll have that in my blog maybe later this week. So I want to use this watercolor stencil. I have that one. Um, this is the lily one that I used for the card. I'm not going to use that one today. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> um, and I have this one. Is this the other one? No, I'm looking for my one that looks kind of like the ocean. Oh, I'll put it downstairs. So this is the ocean one. Yeah, this one looks like the waves and stuff like that. And then I might use um, this other one. So I think, and I, I like to use this here. You know, I don't know what they call these, like a coral or something like that. So I think I'm going to use that too. So let me pull that one out. So this one, this one's from the watercolor series, and then this one's from the coral series. <laughs> I don't think she would like that. Hi, Darcy. <laughs> I don't think she would like that. So, for this one, I want the other one. So, I think we're going to use those two. Maybe, um, maybe I'll use this one. We'll see. Maybe we use those three. We'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah. She will get paybacks as right. So, I'm going to do my attempt of kind of drawing um, a mermaid-ish. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. So I'm sure I get my water back here. The stencil is made to look like water. Yep, I love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use some texture paste on here. Yep, you can use them with anything, just like you would a regular stencil. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my book. So. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> oh, so let's see. So this was a book. I love this book. Also, I didn't know that they make um, two other books, which I'm probably going to get. I forget what the other two. One of mystical, mystical something or other. But, um, yeah, she makes two other books. And this is by Stephanie Puman Lu Law. So, so this, is what, what, this is what I'm going to attempt to do today. So I want to make a mermaid and I want to do let me see I'd like to put her on the rocks if we could put her on rocks so let's see I really like this one this one's really nice with the three of them like that <laughs> I don't think I could do that 
I'll be lucky just to do the one mermaid. So let's see. I want her kind of sticking out of the um, oops, out of the water so that we can do that technique like um, Dee Dee was showing with the clouds, but we could do it with water. So I want to do something like that. And if there's a scene in here somewhere. Oh, this. I would love to do something like this. But I don't know if that's that's possible. We'll see. First, I'm just going to draw the mermaid. So let me pick the mermaid, and then we can go from there. So I really want her, like, laying down, kind of. So let me see. What do I have here? I kind of want her... I thought they had one here where she's kind of... Oh, yeah, here it is. So I'm going to attempt to do this one where she's kind of like leaning on the rocks. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to draw with a light pencil. I can find my pencil. Hi, Dippy. <laughs> Darcy and Diane are home yet? Mm, I thought they weren't coming home until like Monday. I'm not really sure, Darcy. Um, pencil. Here we go. She, she tweeted? Oh, they're on their way home. Yeah, I didn't think they were coming home until... Oh, Darcy is home. Oh, she is home. Oh, that's good. Landed. Oh, that's good. I missed the tweet then. Oh, good. Yeah, she's laying down on the rocks. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I have to remember, because my book is going to fold like this. So I kind of have to have her mostly on this side with the rocks. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to draw her first. And I'm thinking that I want my water line. Because she's going to be out of the water. So, her tail is going to be, like, in the water. So, let's see how it goes. I think maybe I'll draw her. I think I'm going to draw so her tail maybe is all the way to the other page. So, let's see. I mean, you want me to get in a little bit closer? Let's see if I move you in just a little closer. There we go. Let me move some of this so I can move this up then. Move this out of the way. So you can kind of, I'm going to draw it kind of light. Um, so you might not be able to see it right away. But I'm going to draw her tail. It's really late. I'll show it up closer when I get it kind of like sketched in. And then she has these like, they're kind of like fish gills I guess they are. And then one on this side. One there, one there, one there. So it's very light. So this is just the tail part. So you can see it. I put it over to this other page and it's coming over like this. And then she's going to be leaning on this rock, kind of. So. This is her little rear end, kind of. I can't believe that's over already. Seems like they just left, doesn't it? I want her like little tush to come out. Vicky's here. Pick another number. What is she picking a number for? <laughs> Alright, so she has to have her back. 
then we want our face. And she has her hands kind of like folded, folded in, so kind of like straight down and up towards her neck. I think it made her, her belly too big. I think her back is arched enough. She has a really skinny waist. <laughs> going to be kind of like swishing all over. There she is, kind of. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my texture paste down. So, I know I want um, the ocean like coming up from her back and I think this would be just like coming up off of her back. So I think I'm gonna lay that down first. And I'll have to be careful of her. I need my paste. Together, hold on. Hi, Linda. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was so nice here today. A little warm, but it was pretty nice. I'm looking for a nice. Mm. Is that the time you always stream on Sundays or you just stream anytime, Jess? Where were you where you're working on cards? So I want the waves to be down in here. So I'm gonna lay this down here. So it'll be kind of like crashing waves. And then this one, I'm gonna put it right, right around here, I think. You never, I know you, you haven't stream, streamed in a long time. But that's good, you should. You do really beautiful cards. So those are going to be kind of my waves that I'm thinking at, at the top there. So let me just wipe this off. And then we'll put some of that coral on the bottom. And I'll have to get out my heat gun. Yeah, she streamed earlier. I missed it too. I want to use this um, to do a canvas too. So this is kind of my practice 
because um, since I gave my mermaid canvas away, I want to make another one. So this is kind of my practice. Okay, that's all nice and clean. You just played with some gold oh, QR watercolors today. Oh, I would have to go back and look at that. All right, so let's dry this. It's got some nice texture on there, and hopefully I'll put her on a, a rock or something like that. Hi, Gigi. <laughs> a bit of a break from a purging. Oh, that's good. Heat gun. Hi, Angela. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about your car. She was in a little fender bender. Or your mom's car it was, right? Paula. Oh, sorry. He come, Paula. <laughs> All right. So now I want to put some of the some of this other coral down. And I'm thinking I'm going to use this other one. I kind of like this. So I think I'm going to put this like going up the side here. Put a little bit of that on there. And put a little bit on that side and then a little bit on this side. nice to put like a little something else maybe on here so we'll see all right so I'm going to dry that Oops. we're done with the texture paste you're okay just shaking up oh that's good yeah, here's your mom's car I know don't you hate that when you borrow somebody else's car Ugh. Oh, thanks all right so I'm gonna heat gun heat gun Paula <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, watercolor goes on this texture paste. I've never done that before, so we'll see. But she looks pretty good there. Now, oh, let me clean my stencil first. Hold on. Avalanche. Another old baby wipe. Then maybe next week I want to use the gear one. So if this one comes out good, we'll use the um, the gears to do a, a steampunk girl. I want to kind of do a steampunk girl on here. So we'll see. <laughs> I was looking for my um, for my book, and then I saw that she did a couple of other books. So it'll be interesting to get. Uh, get those <laughs> all right so now is the ugh, scary part <laughs> scary part 
So I'm going to take my water brush, dip it in some water, and I did swatch my colors out, so let me get that. Oh, I'm playing around with, let me see here. I was playing around with the watercolors, probably hard for you to see, but I did that splotch there and it was like, oh my gosh, look how cute that looks like a herring or something. So I'll have to go back with a pen and fix that. But that, didn't that come out cute? <laughs> that was my little blue, my little blue bird. So, all right, so here is my watercolor swatch. So I want the water to be kind of this cayenne blue, darker underneath. And then as it gets lighter, maybe the turquoise blue. So, so I just want to go with the cayenne blue first. So I'm put some more water in here. And then what did I say? I'm going to go in with the turquoise blue. I think that's the turquoise. I always get mixed up on which one this one is. The turquoise one is blue silver this one all right so which one did I say I was going with cayenne blue Ugh. Um, they do have names on here but for me it's so hard to see what they are that's cobalt blue uh, cayenne blue there it is all right so here we go. So I'm going to start at the bottom because I want that to be the darkest part of the ocean. Well, I might have to go in with some royal blue. And I just want to just barely go through her tail there. So you can see now the blue so I think I want to go in with a little bit darker blue so let's see what happens let me do the outline of her first I need more water Joyce, thanks for coming. So, and then I want to come up here closer towards the what did I say I was going to use? Turquoise blue. So, that's this one. I need a paper towel. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> so it goes right over the texture place pretty nice. So I put some more water in here. I should just pull some of this off. So let's see. Can you see? Let's be a little bit lighter here. I'll probably have to go back over with some other color. Maybe a little bit of lime green in here. Can you see? Oh, I didn't draw the rocks in here, so we better decide what we're going to do for our rocks. So I want her leaning. Let me see if I have a picture of it so we can see what I'm doing. Hi, Rain! <laughs> Alright, so we need some rocks.
Oh, there we are. Oh, I should have picked her first. So there are some rocks there. So they kind of like go all the way underneath. sure that I have her like sitting on the rock here I mean maybe that could be crashing on there and maybe we'll put that little seagull up in here <laughs> I don't get carried away myself rock there we go hi Miko <laughs> all right so there is my rocks kind of <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this over let that water run down and I'm gonna do the other side of this now so I need the green and then we need to go right along this rock line here And then I want to use that um, pearlescence for her, her fin. Could have probably put some seashells or something like that at the bottom, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> uh, you have your 27-inch monitor? Oh, no, don't look. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> yes, Tam, I'm doing a mermaid. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks. It cut, takes the texture place really nice, so I'm happy about that. Um, so, and then for the rocks, I'm going to do it kind of like purple, like she has here in this one. So, kind of like, you know what I need? I need like another little palette to mix something in. So, here, let me put this. I'm going to take some of this. This is going to be for the rock color. You kept buying blue paint? You kept yourself on buying blue paint and got two green ones? <laughs> she always says blue. If Carrie, if you ask Carrie, she says, do blue. <laughs> so I'm going to do that with a little bit of maybe this. A little bit of this blue purple. Ooh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So that is cobalt blue and violet. That looks nice. So, I'll take some more of this blue. So I'm going to paint my rocks. Got to watch her tail now here. More stencils? Can never have enough stencils, right, Paula? <laughs> never have enough stencils. I wish I brought some salt up because it looks like they probably use salt on here. And I'll have to go back and define some of those rocks a little bit. Hi, Terry. <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm 
mix a little bit more of this purple. I love this brush. This is a number 10 brush. I didn't even know I had it. I happened to go in my um, my old watercolors and found it. Uh, you got good guys? Don't. <laughs> I missed it. What happened? <laughs> you went to Mike's for cutting blades? Oh. <laughs> the Yellow Green Basics 10% off. Wow, that was nice. I think they had they had a coupon for, I want to say, was it Liquitex? I don't remember now. Alright, I like the way that blue. Let's get some more of that blue. And mix that in here. I want to try to get those lines defined where the different rocks are. And I'm just going to seep up. It's a pretty nice brush, isn't it? I didn't even know I had it. I'll tell you in one second. This is... And it was sitting in a box. You see what happened? It's like bent. I feel bad that I bent it. But this is a number 10. This is old too. This says uh, Serpid, Sertrid Gold. A Sable Synthetic Blend Windsor and New S Newton from England. I don't even, I couldn't even tell you where I got this from. Probably my art store like years ago. But it's a uh, Windsor and Newton. All right, so we have that, and then it looks like, oh, I guess the sky, we should put some blue in here, right, for the sky. So let me um, get some of that. So I could either use this, let's see how that is, yeah, that's good. So this is, um, what color is this? Ultramarine, I'm going to use that for the sky. Let me get some in there. Oh, we can't see. I don't need a lot more than that. I'll put some of this light blue in here. Alright, so I'm just going to paint the sky here. Water. I'm going to do some little um, seagulls. So let me put that in there. I'm going to leave some of the white even because it just looks cool for the sky. So let's draw a little, a little seagull. So she's looking at the, the little seagull. So I'll put the little feet here. One there. And this little wing. His head's going to be in... <laughs> Too bad his head's going to be right smack in the middle of this, this little beak. So, close enough. <laughs> uh, you're, uh, what? Missed anything? Now I'm just drawing a little mermaid on some watercolor paper. So, let's go ahead and now I can draw right around here. Like a little more blue. Let's 
Ugh, more water. Let me go on the other side here. Let me get across here. Oh, I went right on top of his head. <laughs> right on top of his head. You don't use any harsh stuff for water brushes? For water paint? I need more water. me I'm no water color expert at all <laughs> like I don't even know what I'm doing this blue here on this side. I know what you are doing. I'm having a fun time. That's true. I am having fun. <laughs> as long as I can make some mermaids. I have to practice though more. So I'm going to dedicate this book to just doing all mermaids. So. So there we go. We have our sky. We have the ocean. I think I need to make the ocean a little darker. So we'll see. But there she is now. So this is the hard part for me. And I want to make these waves. We're going to make these waves like white. I don't know what else I want to do with these waves. And I have to redefine this. I want to redefine um, the rock area like. So maybe we should put some a little bit darker purple. Like that. What's that? We are waiting in Betty Breath for Linda. What about Linda? I missed it. <laughs> you have like, some expensive watercolor brushes? I think these are. I don't even remember. I got these. These are all Windsor and Newton. And like I said, I bought them like a long time ago. I really don't know. I wish I had some salt. I would throw some salt in here or alcohol. I could make like those holes in there. I think I'm just going to spritz this just a tad. There we go. Just so it mixes up a little bit more. I want it some more to blend a little bit. Hi, Jen. <laughs>
All right, well, that's good for the rocks. So I guess we have to do her hair. <laughs> do her. <laughs> you like it? Oh, my gosh. I don't have no idea clue what I'm doing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no clue. Just pull up some of this water. There we go. So, all right. So we're going to work on her her tail, I guess. So she has her tail like kind of a green. And I want to do some of this um, pearlescence on here for her tail. Oh, thank you, Colleen. <laughs> So I'm going to spritz this with some water. We just want to use maybe the green. I'm going to do the white. I guess we could, oh, I'll just spritz them all. I wish I had some more room. I don't have any room. I'm doing good? Okay, good. <laughs> you can use your watercolor pencils. Yes, that's true. I could. And maybe I will. The scary part for me is her doing her <laughs> and I need more water move this over clean water I guess we'll do her skin first I probably should use a smaller brush you're learning what to do oh you're learning what not to do <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> See, now in this color for the flesh tone, I like that other, or is it the other one? Let me see. Let me grab this one. I really like this one for the flesh tone, so I'm going to use that one. Now, I never knew that you had to water, like, spritz these before. Until I saw Dee Dee do it. There we go. Darn tablet, oh no! It's very hard to um, art either, too. Art and talk at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to get some shading. She is awesome. Who is? She is awesome. There. <laughs> you like her? She's, she's coming along. She looks kind of cute. <laughs> I think after me, I don't think anybody, sometimes Paula does. I don't think anybody after me. I am late to get back here. <laughs> so let's see the darn chicken. What chicken? <laughs> Night, Jess. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come in with a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Um, for the skin. <laughs> I squirt a little bit more water in here. Ew, dirty. And I'm going to come in here with this kind of goldy yellow. Just to put some, like, shadowing underneath her. Although... I should wait till it, it um it dries. Oh no, I did gold. I don't want gold. <laughs> Darn it. Indian yellow. Darn. She's gonna have some gold to her now. Gold to her skin. 
shoot. <laughs> Can you see? She's got like gold. She's sparkling gold now. I thought that was like a tan. Oh, wow. Let's see what this is. Yellow too? There we go. I think this one's better, whatever the color this is. The only problem with this other palette doesn't really have, like, names. All right, so let me put something under her chin. And then probably a little pink. <laughs> is she streaming tonight? I don't know. Is she? I don't think she is. Is she? <laughs> It'll be still your heart. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh, she has like a gold gold sparkle to her skin. <laughs> there we go. And you see her now? She's starting to look good, right? So let's use a little bit of pink for her cheek. I just want just a little dot for her face. And more pink. Way to enable? What is Eileen making you do now? Oh, to buy the Neos? I like the Neos. I think, um, just putting a little bit around her face, let's get her lips, uh, put a little bit lighter pink around her. Need another clean towel. Just don't have enough room. <laughs> She's twisting your wrist? Oh no. There we go. Alright, so let's get to her tail. And to, for her tail, I'm going to go with green. So let me move this up a little bit so you can see her tail. I don't think I want that green. Oh. I want to go with a little bit darker green. And then we'll use some of that pearl essence. You have the curry, cur, cur take. What is that? <laughs> I don't know the name of it. AJ. That's what she has. Is that better than that? Oh, just use them tonight. I have to go look at it. I have to look at her video. So I don't want to get her hair in here. Her hair is coming across there. Here 
you're tempted. The pigment was amazing. Oh, I'll have to look at it. And then this is kind of translucent. These are like her fins in here. So these are like... And then I thought I had one other fin down in here. I'll have to define that one a little bit more. Put her tail in here. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> We've been on for about an hour, about an hour, just making a, a watercolor page for a journal with some watercolor paper. So can you see her better now? There you go. Oh, your fur baby's got an ear infection. Aww. So there we go. So that's part of the tail. And I want to, you know, draw the lines when we get for her, her part. So let me see what we should do now. I really like to get some like of these dots that they have. Let me see if I can do this. If that's enough to make make like the spots in the rock. Can you see I'm just trying to do like like these rock things that they have in there. So it looks kind of more like spotted like. making um, a journal page uh, with watercolor um, a mermaid my mermaid so now we need to put I have to let that dry so let me work on her hair so her hair is kind of like oh I like to make your hair kind of like a pinkish color let's see what we have here a little bit more. She really should have like probably yellow hair, but I'm going to make her have pink hair. <laughs> pink hair. You 
start physical therapy. Alright, so oh, I'm probably going to ruin it with the pink hair. I can always go over it with black if I don't like it. like this hair right rain pink hair yay rain loves it Pink hair. And there's my other little fin that I forgot. So it's not too bad. Hi, Loriana. <laughs> Your puppy loves riding that um, golf cart, does he? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to, I think this is dry, so let's use some of this. This is like a pearlescent, so let's see how it this like, ooh, I like that. Can you see the shine in that? Let me hold it up so you can see. These are the ones that um, Paula gave me in Maryland. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, there you are. See how shiny the tail is? Crazy like her father. <laughs> she loves the golf cart. <laughs> so I think I'm going to... I'm not... Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do the circles. I need a steadier hand. I'm going to have to hold this up like this. I probably should use a smaller brush. So I'm just putting in the scales. Uh oh, that sounded naughty. <laughs> We thought of you. Oh, you. Uh, I miss Sarah's too. Sarah was streaming today too. So can you see the scales? They're like shiny. Yeah, there you go. You see how the scales are there? Nice and shiny. There we go. The paint I'm using right now is, um, where is the top? Is this one. This one is the shiny one. 
She's behaving a lot of storms here. Oh, the storms are scaring her still. <laughs> Pearlescence watercolor. <laughs> I don't know if anybody, does anybody stream after me? And then I'm using um, just watercolor. Um, I have this one that I'm using. I'm using this one. This is, uh, whoops, uh, Angora watercolors. This one's made in Germany. And, oh, I just lost my thing. And this other one I'm using is, where is the cover? The other one I'm using is this one. Can you see? This one is called, oh, hold on. I'm losing everything over on this side. Grumbacher. Grumbacher. This is a watercolor. It's a 24 pan set. <laughs> Kathy's going after me. Laurel streamed today too. Oh my gosh, everybody streamed. All right, so let me finish up the scales here. And then we have to do our bird. Oh, I need a little bit more of this green here. Oh, my fur baby. No, my fur babies don't care about the storms. Nope. Thank goodness. Oops, too much water. What happened? Why did the old jersey changes? So let me just put these in real quick. And then we'll do the bird. You see him? So it makes a big difference on her tail. Could have done crisscross too, but um, I want it to look more like scales. So. And I think I'll outline her in this too. Because it looks pretty with the shiny. Um, it looks pretty. You probably can't see the shine that much. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Thanks. I really want to do one of those ones that have the um, angelfish tail. So I'll have to do that in this book. These paints are nice. I like the shimmer to them. So I can go all the way down, almost done. Janet. <laughs> so and at this end here, I'm just going to outline the tail. <coughs> I'm going to come all the way down like this.
I didn't see if she was. Did she say she was? <laughs> So I'm just outlining it now in this shimmer. Um, that shimmer is pretty. Probably not, Ella. Thunderstorms. They have thunderstorms in uh, Canada today. I saw Carrie tweet that too. She does internet. Isn't that pretty with the pearl essence paint? Now Paula's probably saying, "Oh, I should I I should get that back." There. So there's our mermaid tail. Doesn't it look cool? I should move you guys out one more. Let me move you out one. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. See? I want to do something with her hair. I think there's pink in here. Let's see what this, what this pink one looks like. Put some shimmer in her hair. More red. Kind of more red, but it shines too. See how pretty that is? You're loving the mermaid? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Me too. I like her too. I think she looks cool looking. She looks she looks cute. Cute, cute, cute. I wish I would have um let me put some down there at this side of her hair. <clears throat> so there, it doesn't look good. Oh, hi, Brenda. <laughs> a headband, yep. Probably needs like a crown, a gold little crown with a star. Something like that. And she could use um, like a little starfish or something on the, the thing there. Alright, so let's see. So we have our bird to do next. So the bird's really like white. Um, like white. I don't really have any white. Oh, look at this pearlescent white. Well, let's see what that looks like. Probably not going to be able to see much. I'm going to have to like put it with some. Can you see her a little bit? <coughs> <laughs> so let's give it some legs. I'm sorry, I'm finished with the. I really like the sparkliness. I don't know if you can see how it shines. You can on her tail, but not so much in her hair. But there is some shine in her hair, too. But I'll have to put some Wink of Stella for you uh, <laughs> in her hair. So let's see. What else can we do? I have to get this, like, closer together. So let's try. I got to, like, get this back. closed up.
Oh, and then I have to put something on her fins, too. It's pretty, thank you. <laughs> She's coming along for my first time. <laughs> so you can see the little bird, he's kind of shiny now. Let's put a little gold, not gold. I want tan like <laughs> Indian yellow maybe. So on his little beak. And his feet. I probably should have erased some of the um, pencil mark probably. <laughs> 